Hello everyone and welcome to another Call of Duty Warzone video. Um this video is two things actually. Number one is a request is a request from a viewer subscriber in one of in well the only comment in the Zaslon video I made for um, Call of Duty Warzone and he requested uh, for me to make a video on the Tavor, or as it's known in Call of Duty Warzone, as the Ram 7. Um, he wanted me to make uh, basically a loadout on, a, I think, a particular Israeli unit. Uh, I don't remember the name, but I will be showing the comment here uh, just so you guys know. So... Thank you for giving me the idea. It was really fun getting this gameplay for with the Tavor um, because, well, the Ram 7 is kind of meta in the region I play Warzone uh, because it's low recoil, uh, basically an M4 but with a slightly faster fire rate. And I say slightly because you sort of barely can tell the difference um in that regard i prefer much more the m4 but um the tavor here has some unique customization options which uh i did on this video but ended up thinking it's not really worth it uh due to the perceived recoil, and you're gonna see in a second. It's the two. It's the two by two uh, Cronus sight, which has a four times the magnification, which is, is a little. It was a little too much, and you know, even even with uh, a longer barrel and uh, commando foregrip, it was still too much of perceived recoil. And that made me miss my shots, uh, but it's still a good class, and I and I recommend for those who, well, do not watch in my region, uh, because the Ram Seven is kind of all over the place here. But um, as I did with the Galil video, I will deep dive, wait, just hold on, uh, I will do a deep dive into the history of the TAR-21, as it's known in real life, or the RAM-7. So, the RAM-7, or the TAR-21, as it's known in real life, or in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, is an Israeli rifle, uh, Israeli bullpup rifle, um, that was designed in the 90s as a sort of an, ev an evolution of not not the Galil but the next generation of um, of Israeli rifles. Uh, due to the Galil, well, at least the original Galil being uh, very big, very very big, very heavy, and and not really modular or adaptable for uh, the evolution of warfare, which the M4, the AK-74 were certainly accounting for, um, the Israelis needed something that was modern, lightweight, and modular. <laughs> I, was, I was going to forget the word. Uh, so they came up with the Ram 7. Or, sorry, with the TAR-21. <laughs> I'm gonna get those mixed up a lot here, so sorry about that. Um, so, why particularly the bullpup design? Um, the bullpup design is so that, you know, the Israeli operator can have range and compactness on the same package, the same package of rifle. And of course, the Tavor was was made with lightweight materials and all sorts of Picatinny rails for customization and all that. And it's a all-around modern rifle, and it complements the the 
new Galil uh, that came up, which is the... Anyway, it's in-game known as the... I'll, I'll have the name in the, in the screen. Uh, I'll, I can't remember the name, but it's basically a modernized Galil, uh, evolution of the Galil that not only serves alongside the TAR-21 in the Israeli Defense Force, but in various other countries, such as Colombia and other places. Um, the operator that is going to be used here is going to be Shadow Company, because, well, Shadow Company is... Fuck. Um, you know, you see he's got the night vision goggles, and I think back in Modern Warfare 2, the... the... The Shadow Company guys all, all, always used to carry the the Tar Twenty One back in the day, along with the ACR and the Scar, and you know they 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 have this this very swag tactical look. You see the the Nas and the helmet and all that. Overall, looking look at looking pretty trippy, I must say. But as we, as we are going to see here, if my game wants to load, uh, here. Here's a loadout, so we have the run seven. Um, you see, pretty, pretty, pretty good looking rifle. Um, I think it's a pretty, pretty swag configuration here. It's got the multicam camel, the, the laser on the top. For my secondary here, uh, let the game load, please. Yeah, that, that's a bit of an Xbox One problem. The game is, the game is, Taking a little too long to load, textures start to flicker, you know, it's overall very, very, very annoying. The cutscenes also uh, lag a lot, uh, characters don't load, it, it's always the, it's always either uh, Sid or Domino or, Sid, Domino or Bale and the uh, Otter in the game, so you can't tell which team it, which team is which, you know, it's all, it's all looking the same. Uh, but here's the Uzi, you know, just this is what I with Uzi. I actually quite like it a lot, you know, the, the Uzi, I think it's pretty reliable. It's not, it's not particularly great at anything. It has a Zora fire rate, it does, it does regular damage, but it's not, it's not rocking any, any, any world. It's, it's a regular old reliable submachine gun. Without further ado, let's just jump right in the video. I hope you liked it, and I hope you have a good day. updated. New objective identified. Got the armor here. Got the armor here. Hey, anyone need this? Got the armor here.
Body armor here. Objectives updated. Move to the next Moving. location. Okay. Inbound. Safe zone relocated. Moving. Fire plan is active. Five station costs are adjusted. Be advised. Friendly <laughs> Friendly UAV over Requesting recon flyover. UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Fire shot. Are back to normal? Be advised. Friendly precision airstrike inbound. Safe zone. Watch for enemy. You're being tracked by an enemy team. Stay sharp. Trophy system deployed. Anyone need this?
The secondary that I'm going to use is going to be Rebirth. It's uh, going to be the Uzi. The, the good old trusty Uzi. Who, who doesn't like an Uzi? You know, there's the, the Uzi, the Micro Uzi, the Lil Uzi. Wait, that, that's, that's, that's not an actual gun. That's a wrapper. But... <laughs>